This is a study done by Bloomberg uh, Economics, and they found that Harris's plan did not have much change in either the GDP or inflation, which in a sense is a good thing at this point. But look at what Trump's plan would do. Trump's plan would cut the GDP by 8.9 percent. Hmm. Let me put that in perspective for you. This is roughly twice the amount that the GDP went down during the financial crisis. Wow. So we would be looking at something between a recession and a depression. And interestingly, as we, I'm sure we've, you, people know, because we've talked about this many times, the, the tariffs would, would cause certainly a part of this. But the biggest cause, actually, of this drop are the mass deportations that Trump is talking about, mm. because he would take huge pieces of our labor force out of the country, send them back for, or send them somewhere else, and the result would be uh, business wouldn't have labor. They wouldn't be able to produce things, and you'd have this enormous economic contraction. So this is this is something we've never seen before wow. uh, in terms of scoring a set of policy proposals from a presidential candidate.